Today's devotional can be found in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 22. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return to unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Okay. You see, after the fall of Adam and Eve, in which they ate the fruit that they were commanded not to eat, all men was cut off from God after being given commandments and a promise of a savior and yet they were scattered from God they could no longer be in his physical presence for they sinned so they were scattered and their transgressions and their sins built up over time all the while that this transgression of Adam and Eve was hanging over their heads as well. Like dark clouds that followed them around and some succumbed to the weight of those dark clouds and decided to just go their own way and forget about the promise that had been given them and try and make it on their own and give up their righteous demeanor, give up the promises, give up everything for the sake of what they could have immediately and what would not take time to be given to them. And others held out of the hope of a savior and tried their best to live as they would hope the savior would want them to live. And I mean, they sinned, yes. Everybody sinned. They couldn't help themselves. Everybody had trials and tribulations, and this happened for generations. And there were few truly good in those many generations, but they were there. They faithfully even, when others murmured, and so the time of the atonement finally came, and, Christ, and Christ shed his body and his blood. his body was broken and destroyed for the sake of our own souls because we couldn't save ourselves because we were too imperfect and so with the, with the blood of Christ and with the love for all of us in his heart, he blotted out our transgression and that of Adam and Eve. And he took our sins upon himself and invited mankind to no longer be spiritually scattered. He took our sins and said, return unto me. You're able to be in the presence of God again. You're able to move beyond your sins and become better than them like, you're, like you were meant to be. You're able to fill thy spirit and go above your sins and improve with each new day because you've been redeemed from the fall of Adam and Eve and from your own transgressions. And so we have that opportunity each new day because of the atonement to utilize the atonement and rise above our sins each new day. For he, we have been redeemed from hell. 
I mean, we only put ourselves there now with sins we don't repent of, but we have been redeemed from our sins and our transgressions. And we can rise above them and improve with each new day and strive to become like Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. For we are children of God first and foremost, and now we can live up to that. I'm not saying it'll be easy. I'm not saying we're automatically perfect. But we can do much better now because of the atonement. We can strive for perfection now. But it's our choice. Satan, because he will never be redeemed. Because he is a forever spirit. He's trying to get us to hang on to our sins and trying to convince us that God doesn't love us. But he does love us unconditionally and we shouldn't be afraid to let the Lord love us because Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ were not afraid to make the way and Christ was not afraid to open the way for us that we might be able to fulfill everything we are meant to fulfill but it's our choice what we wish to do with the atonement we have been freely given and with that said i love you all so very much and i say these things humbly in the name of jesus christ amen